Hey tribe, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. So this is your weekend message. Weekend heads up. All signs, all placements are welcome here. Very general messages, you guys. So please keep in mind that um, it may not entirely resonate for you, but take what does, leave what does not for the next person. We're going to go ahead and hop into the messages, you guys. Um, you have mending and you have happy, happy showing up here. And you also have never ending story. Okay. Um, it feels like there could be a choice this weekend between um mending a relationship with someone okay or trying to work on something whether it's a relationship a situation whatever it is for you the choice is between that or choosing what makes you happy or what brings you the most peace especially with never ending story here and the here and now okay um but i'm gonna put these back and then we'll pull three cards for your overall guidance from the wisdom wisdom oracle deck for this weekend then we'll go to the tarot for extra messages. Um, please like the video, you guys. Like the video. Let me know that you guys are here. It helps the content to circulate on YouTube. I will say, um, let's start with the song. So I got Hey Now by Outkast, okay? Um, and it was a bunch of different messages I got from the song. I feel like relates to the weekend for you guys. Uh, the first part was Ice Code, okay? So he is known as Andre Ice Code 3000. So you could be feeling very Ice Code um, in regards to someone or something. I'm also seeing regeneration and blessed. It's almost like you're turning your back on the situation this weekend. Um, also, there could be some sort of cross lines here, okay? Cross lines in communication between you and someone else um, or just the energy of crossing lines. Someone could be crossing the line with you, you with them, or just the whole... The whole situation of something seems very chaotic or very messy. Um, I was also getting from the song, um, Don't Ruin It For Everyone. And what else? I put some notes in my other phone here. Oh, yeah. Act like you got some sense. Okay. Don't ruin it for everyone. And also that nothing lasts forever. So there could be a situation where you thought was solid. Okay. And it may be crumbling or maybe something's happening in regards to a relationship or a situation you may have thought was solid i'm also hearing loyalty in regards to someone's loyalty for you or you for them um so take from that whatever you see fit you guys it's not going to resonate for everyone but let's just go ahead and hop into the wisdom oracle messages for this weekend what is the most important message spirit for the collective for this weekend please excuse my nails you guys i broke two of them yesterday so let's just act like we don't see that okay Oh, or you could be acting like you don't. It's almost like you're um you're not here. I'm here like I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. You could be unseen, unhearing someone. You could be acting like you don't see something or something is just like not something. There's a situation you're just not trying to deal with. The card that came out here was never in this story. So it's like you're sick of it. You're sick and tired of something here this weekend. What else? Yang, okay? And then you have come to the edge. So you may be feeling pushed, inspired, forced to take some sort of course of action here. At least that's what the advice is, okay? Take some sort of stance or course of action. Um, it feels like you're being pushed to the edge, though. Come to the edge here, okay? In regards to a situation, something that has been repetitive, something that has been getting to you, something that has, that has been causing chaos and conflict, whatever this is for you. It could be a work situation, okay? job employer it could be a personal relationship but you're being pushed to the edge um and it's almost like you're in this energy of like not really caring not really not really giving a fuck is really what i'm hearing in regards to the situation observer okay you could be seeing something clearly or seeing someone clearly or really sitting back and observing taking notes on the situation thinker TikTok, you could definitely be thinking that your time is up in regards to a situation here this weekend, okay? Or you need to make some sort of definitive decision, move, to be fair, go to distance, no place like home, not for you. Yeah, there's something or someone that you have history with, something or someone that you're loyal to, okay? Um, or someone or something that you thought was loyal to you, but it's kind of like, it's not something, it's something's off, okay? Someone is crossing some sort of lines here, or maybe there were some lines that have already been crossed and you are now finding that out okay or you're now seeing something clearly or you're seeing somebody's true intentions this weekend okay we have the nine of wands 
We have the Seven of Cups and we have the Lovers. Could definitely be dealing with the Gemini or some sort of uh, lover situation here. But the Nine of Wands is a heaviness. It's a hardship because of illusions or confusions here, okay? Five of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Something's draining your energy. Something is taken from you. It may be time, money, resources, okay? And whatever this is, you're realizing that it's not Something here is not good for you this weekend. Okay, the Justice card is showing up here, Libra energy. The Tower card, Scorpio energy. Okay, something is falling apart. What messages do we have for the collective this weekend, Spirit? Um, and it may be falling apart. I'm hearing falling apart so that other things in your life can actually fall into place. So it might, it might be very bittersweet, whatever this is occurring for you guys this weekend. The Sun card, Leo energy. The Eight of Cups, okay. The page, the Knight of um, Pentacles, the Two of Cups here, the King of Pentacles. Leo energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, okay? Hierophant, Taurus energy showing up here. What's the most important messages for the collective this weekend? Let's pull three cards and clarify to see what's coming towards you, who's coming towards you guys. All right, so let's see. The Empress, okay? So this is Libra Taurus energy here. This could be um, something in regards to a mother figure taking place this weekend. We also have the Seven of Wands, okay? You could be very defensive towards this person, okay? Um, and the Ten of Pentacles. Family is showing up here. So there's a motherly energy. Ten of Pentacles can be family, okay? It could be um, finance, finances. It could be a job here. Um, you, it, it could be a fight between like a mother or multiple people in your family or something in regards to like a home or a job or a family situation. It feels like you are caught in the middle of something this weekend This um, with the seven of wands. You can have fire in your chart. You don't have to, but it feels like you are on guard or you're on defense or you're feeling the need to like defend or protect yourself this weekend here. It just feels like you're being, you're caught in the middle or you're being put in the middle of something. What is the Empress energy? Why is this here? The Ten of Swords, okay? Um, there could be some sort of betrayal, backstabbing, or some sort of a very unfavorable outcome, okay? Or like a revelation, something being revealed in regards to this Empress, in regards to a mother or a motherly figure, or simply a Libra or a Taurus. Why is the Seven of Wands here? The Sun card, Leo energy, Okay. There's somebody or something that you're fighting off. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Eight of Cups. And I I feel like it's going to, um, it feels like the Eight of Cups is emotional distance. It's walking away. It kind of feels like something you've invested a lot of time in or something you've been, invested a lot of time, effort in, okay? Or something in regards to your finances or a home or a family situation. It almost feels like a loss or you just feel like at loss or I'm hearing loss for words, like not knowing what to do. It feels like your back is up against the wall in regards to a situation, though. So some people might be, like, cornering you or um, something here surrounding you, placing the blame on you. You could be very defensive towards a Leo. Why is the Ten of Swords here with the Empress? The Seven of Pentacles. It's something about, like, your efforts not being seen here or you not being able to get through to a person, okay? Whoever this empress is for you or something here is, is draining your energy. Okay, why well, is the sun card here with the seven of wands, the death card, Scorpio energy. Maybe you've been trying to Maybe you've been trying to avoid something from happening, okay? A transition, an ending from happening. It feels like, I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but it feels like um, you've been holding on to a situation that is unfavorable to you, okay? Or it's just um, the, the reality of it all. Something about reality hitting or reality check this weekend in regards to you and other people surrounding you. This could be friends, family members, etc., and it feels like you've been trying to avoid seeing something or acknowledging something, okay? Whatever this transition is, this ending is, but it's it's happening anyway. Something is like, it's like you can't turn a blind eye to it anymore. You can't avoid it. You can't brush it underneath the rug. You can't act like it, it does not exist anymore. Why well, is the Eight of Cups here with the Ten of Pentacles? The Ace of Cups, okay? Um, but if it really, I'm hearing it sucks. It really sucks because... I don't know. It, it just feels like whatever this is, it didn't have to happen this way. 
or there's some sort of opportunity that's being reneged or you're dropping out of something or you're pulling out of something like you are no longer wanting to invest in it. What's at the bottom? Queen of Swords. Okay. Libra energy, Gemini energy as well. Something in regards to like a lover situation. Okay. Or two people or a couple. The Wheel of Fortune. You could be calling it quits on someone. Like if you're in a relationship, this could be it. Or this is in regards to your relationship with other people, friends, family members. The Wheel of Fortune. The King of Wands. The Three of Cups. Okay. The Four of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. Some of y'all are definitely finding out about a third party situation with someone, four of pentacles, or somebody's trying to hold on to you. This could be somebody that you cut off or others of you guys. Um, this could be someone that you cut off in a romantic sense um, because you found out about a third party situation or this is what's happening this weekend. But if this has already happened, this person is still trying to hold on to you, but they're, they're still committed. Page of wands, knight of wands, king of cups, three of pentacles, wow, queen of cups. Somebody here is involved with multiple people and they might be trying to hold on to you also is what I'm picking up on for some of you guys. Okay, so let's pull. Let's see what your advice is. What is the advice for the collective this weekend, Spirit? Any clarity, confirmation, anything that they are needing to know at this time? What is the advice? Seven of Pentacles, nurture yourself, focus on yourself. Okay, don't get involved. The high priestess, Pisces energy, five of swords. You already know what this is going to, you already know this is going to lead to, okay? Whatever you've been trying to avoid, it feels like um, it's happening though, but it's out of your control. Like it's not your responsibility, it's not your problem. So just let the, the cookie crumble is what I'm hearing. What is the advice? The lover's card, Gemini energy, seven of pentacles. Yeah, it's like you need to make the choice to turn your back on something, whether it's a Gemini or a lover situation here or two people. Okay, the death card. Yeah, let this transition happen. Something is hind something is ending or there's something that you need to see. Somebody's true colors, etc. Nine of Wands and Queen of Cups. The advice is for you to hold back. Two of Wands, Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Emperor here. Again, it's like you're caught in the middle in regards to something here and you need to remove yourself from the situation, okay? So I'm going to leave it here. Leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys, and I will see you next time.